Hey guys, this is MJ with with another tutorial about financing a fixed asset and recording loan payments in QuickBooks Desktop. Well, regardless whether the financing is good or bad for business, you do find yourself in a position to finance assets you can't pay in full right away. Instead, you spread the huge cost to a longer period of time. Anyhow, let's suppose we took a delivery truck loan, which is a fixed asset loan, and we need to record the loan and interest payments. And I'm showing you three different ways of recording truck loan. Well, the first method is by creating general journal entry. So, to create a general journal entry, click on the company menu and select make general journal entries option and change the date accordingly. Now, click on the account field and select a vehicle account. And if you don't have one, just click on add new and create one. and then write the cost of the delivery truck. On the other hand, you took a loan, which will be paid back in years, so you need to create a long-term liabilities loan account if you haven't set it up already. Since I haven't set it up yet, I'm going to create one by clicking on Add New and selecting Long-Term Liability Loan Type. And I'm just naming it Auto Loan. It's just a matter of preference what you name it and then click on save and close to create the account and write the amount of the loan. Remember, you pay something as down payment or first installment at the time of taking loan, so you need to record that too. Let's suppose the first installment is of 20,000, which you paid by writing a check at the spot. Now you took a long term loan and paid first installment which was 20,000 and got a delivery truck costing 250,000. Now write some memo if you want or click on save and close to record the journal entry. Now go to the chart of accounts and here you can see the long term liability account and delivery truck account with their respective amounts. And when you will double click on the concerned bank account, you will see the payment you paid as first installment or down payment. Now, go to the balance sheet and here you can see the delivery truck and the auto loan appeared in the balance sheet with their respective amounts. Now, let's use the second way of recording a fixed asset loan which is separately writing a check for down payment. First, let me delete the general journal entry to reverse the effect, which means the loan amount will no longer appear in the books except the accounts. Now, create a journal journal entry with the full amount of the delivery truck loan you took by selecting the accounts we created in the previous example. You sure can create new ones if you want. I'm just selecting them again to save time and write a memo if you want or click on the save and close to record the entry. Now, so far, we have recorded an asset and a loan. And here you can see how they appear in the balance sheet but we need to pay the first installment or down payment. So to pay the first installment or down payment, we will write a check. Now select write checks option under the banking menu and change the date and then add your vendor. And if you don't have one, just create one right away. And then write the first installment or down payment amount, which is 20,000. And under expense tab, select the auto loan account because it's the first installment or down payment, which is supposed to decrease the loan amount. Now write the memo if you want, or just click on save and close to record the transaction. Now let's go to the balance sheet, and here you can see the auto loan amount has decreased accordingly. Now let's use the third way of recording a fixed asset loan, which is writing a check. First, let me delete the check I wrote for down payment, and the general journal entry to reverse the effect. And here you can see it's no longer showing in the balance sheet again. Now select write checks option under the banking menu and select your concerned bank account and then select your vendor and then change the check number and write the first installment or down payment amount. And then click on items tab and select delivery truck. And if you haven't set it up before, 
then just click on add new and create one. And in the expense tab, select the auto loan account we created earlier. We need to put negative 230,000 after deducting the down payment which is 20,000. Now what will happen behind the scene is that the negative auto loan amount will show up as liability and delivery truck will show up as fixed asset with the respective amounts. And the concerned bank account will be reduced by the first installment or down payment amount which reduces the actual loan amount from 250,000 to 230,000. Now write some memo if you want or click on save and close to record the transaction. And when you go to the fixed asset items list, the delivery truck is showing up in our fixed asset item list because instead of an expense, we recorded it as item while writing a check. And when you go to the balance sheet, you can see that the delivery truck and the auto loan amount showing up respectively and so in the chart of accounts and here in the chart of accounts you definitely have observed that I haven't created the delivery truck cost and accumulated appreciation sub accounts yet which you will create when you will get the ownership of the significant half of the asset well so far we have talked about three ways of recording a financed asset and when you get a loan you need to pay interest on that loan which includes some portion of the actual loan amount which will be paid off on the agreed time. Well, different terms and conditions are used to pay back the loan amount. It may include declining or fixed interest payment for the period of the time. Let's talk about a bit for both scenarios. First, the declining interest based scenario. Here we got a loan of 250,000 for 5 years and made down payment of 20,000 which left us the remaining loan balance of 230,000. On this loan payment, 20% is the annual interest rate, which we can convert into monthly rate by dividing it by 12, which becomes 1.67%. Well, just ignore the 15%, I forgot to change it to 20%. And agreed monthly payment is 6,093.60 cents. Now, create your table to calculate the value. First, the number of the installments will be 60 because we took the loan for 5 years and there are 12 months in a year. So just multiply the years by the months to get your number of installments. Then write the installment date which will be at the end of the month. Now write your monthly agreed payment which is 6093.6 cent. And then write the formula to calculate the monthly interest which is monthly rate multiplied by loan balance and lock the monthly rate cell because we don't want it to move with the formula. And I'm just using another formula to round it to two values. Now find the amount of the loan that will be deducted from the principal loan amount by subtracting the interest amount from the monthly payment. Now just deduct the loan payment from the loan balance to track the loan amount properly. Now select the cells and double click on the cell handle to send the formula down. And here you can see that the monthly interest rate will decrease with the passage of time and at the end of the last installment, the total loan payment will be paid off. Now let's see the fixed base interest scenario, which means you will pay a fixed amount of interest every month till the last installment. Now we know that the loan has been taken for 5 years, which becomes 60 installments and we agreed on 9,583.3 cents monthly payment. And in this monthly payment, there will be fixed 60% interest and 40% will be the loan deduction. So write your monthly payment, which is 9,583.3 cents, and then take 60% of it for interest payment, which becomes 5,749.98, and then find the 40% loan deduction amount and then subtract it from the loan balance to track the loan payment and then select the cells and send the formula down by double clicking on the cell handle. Remember, since it's a fixed based interest scenario, the monthly installment, interest and loan deduction payment will remain the same till the last installment. But 
actual loan amount will keep decreasing after every installment and here you can see that on the 60th installment the loan amount has gone down to zero anyhow whatever the scenario may be if you can calculate the interest and principal monthly loan installment just ask your accountant or CPO who will help you with that and let's say that your CPO or accountant has provided you with the monthly installments and you need to record it into your books so to record the monthly installment select write checks option under the banking menu and then select your concerned bank account and then the company you took the delivery truck loan from and write the monthly installment amount and then click on the expense tab and select the auto loan account we created earlier and the interest expense account and if you don't find one in your chart of accounts just create one by clicking on add new and then write the concerned amount of interest and loan principal and then write some memo and change the date and then click on save and close to record the transaction and here you can see that the auto loan amount has decreased by 2260.27 and when you open the profit and loss statement you will see the interest expense which has been paid on loan and when you will compare the loan amount with the excel table it shows the same amount and that's exactly what we wanted and this is how you can record a financed asset and concerning monthly payments by breaking it down to interest and loan payments and i hope this will be helpful for someone out there and thanks for watching